Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2020, Question 10. We need to show that cos 3a is identical to 4 cos cubed a minus 3 cos a. So let's start with the left hand side, the cos 3a. We can split the 3a into a 2a plus a. And in using our angle formulae, we know that that must be equal to cos 2a cos a minus sine 2a sine a. Now the bit we're aiming for is just a's. We don't want any 2a's in there. So let's use our double angle formulae to change the cos 2a into 2 cos squared a minus 1. And we're going to change the sine 2a into 2 sine a cos a. Expanding this and simplifying, we get 2 cos cubed a minus cos a minus 2 sine squared a cos a. Now the thing we're aiming for doesn't have any signs in it, so let's exchange that sine squared for 1 minus cos squared. Multiplying out the brackets again, we end up with 2 cos cubed a minus cos a minus 2 cos a plus 2 cos cubed a. Bringing the cos cubes and the coses together gives us 4 cos cubed a minus 3 cos a as required. Part B, hence solve for x between minus 90 degrees and positive 180 degrees, the equation 1 minus cos 3x equals sine squared x. So we've got this equation. As our question says hence, this means we need to look at what we've done in part A, see if this is helpful. Well, we've got a cos 3x here. In part A, we changed our cos 3x into a different form. So let's do the same here. And because this is going to be coses, we're also going to change our sine squared into 1 minus cos squared. So replacing that cos 3x, we get 1 minus 4 cos cubed x plus 3 cos x. And that's equal to 1 minus cos squared x. Rearranging all this, bringing it onto one side, gives us that 4 cos cubed x minus cos squared x minus 3 cos x equals 0. Well, we can factorise out a cos from here to give us cos x times 4 cos squared x minus cos x minus 3 equals 0. That bracket itself will also factorise. So we'll end up with cos x times 4 cos x plus 3 times cos x minus 1 equals 0. This is going to give us three values for cos that will help us solve the equation. The first one, cos x equals 0. From the second bracket, we get that it equals minus 3 quarters. And from the third part, we get that it's equal to 1. Now, looking at a graph of this just to help us find all the answers, we know we're looking at cos between minus 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So just using the calculator or using the results that you know, we're going to inverse cos our answers just check we get all of the results. So if cos x equals 0, we know that x must equal 90 degrees, which we can see on the graph here. But within our region, we've also got this second answer to the left hand side. So it must also equal minus 90 degrees. The inverse cos of negative 3 quarters is 138.59 degrees. And we can see that there aren't any more answers in our range for that. And the inverse cos of 1 is 0. And again, there are no further answers within our range. So just rewriting these in order, we get solutions at x equals minus 90 degrees, 0 degrees, 90 degrees, and 138.59 degrees. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.